You know what makes Carpet Express different from other flooring companies? We care about you so that you can make the right choice for your home. At Carpet Express, we offer carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, ceramic tile, and luxury vinyl tile. We don't only sell you a product. At Carpet Express, we offer quality installation backed by a warranty. We don't stock one or two products. At Carpet Express, we stock up to 100 different products in each category at affordable prices. So come to Carpet Express where we care about you. I'm Kelsey with the Chick-fil-A here in Dalton, and we're partnering again this year with the Dalton Quarterback Club to provide you an awesome tailgate meal each home game starting at 530. Be sure to be here by 6 o'clock for the catwalk and get your Chick-fil-A meal with Coke products sold separately. Chick-fil-A of Dalton reminds you to eat more chicken. And go be great! Oh, that's Cooper. Most people like to adopt the younger dogs. But one day your time will come, huh, Cooper? Sweetheart, what about this puppy? Honey, puppies. Mommy, Daddy, that's it, that's the one. The Coldwell Banker Homes for Dogs Project has helped find homes for thousands of shelter dogs. How's your tea? Because our agents don't just understand real estate, they understand what home is all about. Back on the Catamount Football Show, and Coach Lane, let's talk a little bit about uh, the game Friday night with Tequila. I think the thing that, that struck me at the game, <clears throat> we knew they were good on film. Absolutely. <clears throat> they were really good <laughs> in yeah, person. Yeah. Uh, and I, and I, was, I was honestly, especially particularly the linebackers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Talk about it from your perspective. Yeah, you know, you, you, and you know, I mean, we watch multiple hours of film. Um, we, we had a lot of film like on these guys. Nine or ten games. And, 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 I, and I always say this, I, I enjoy playing, and this is the good thing about our region. Uh, you know, when you play Harrison, you play Altoona, you play Creekview, you play these region. I mean, these state-ranked teams, mm -hmm. it prepares you to play a team like Decula because they don't do anything different. They, 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 they do what they do. It's the number one team in the state. They're not going to change. So you look at them and you, you devise a game plan to say, okay, well, we know we can't change that about that player. We right. know he's going to be fast and aggressive and get up field. So now what do you do? You trap him, you counter him, you whatever. But what you don't really understand when you're watching film is you just see that play. You don't see his skills. You see, so when we design those plays, traps and counters, you don't really – you don't really know what kind of lateral skills does that guy have because we watched them on film and they were good at getting upfield. Right. But we didn't see them have they didn't have them. But I was so impressed. We knew they were well coached. Yeah. That that was the first kind of hallmark, other than their athleticism that stood out was they never beat themselves. And that's that's the mark of a of a number one team. But I think the second part was though, their offensive line, their defensive line so impressive, M much more impressive. I already had respect for them, right. but much more respect for them after watching them play. I mean, that, you just saw them do things that, first of all, big guys aren't supposed to do, but second of all, just so well coached. I just would not yep. beat themselves no matter what. I, I think for me, and you and I haven't talked about this, but looking back, I was kind of think, where do these guys fit? in some of the teams that we've That's played right. in the past. That's fair. And, you know, I, I'm going all the way back to Northside. Yes. Warner Robbins. That's a to, great analogy. To get Absolutely. somebody of this quality. I yeah. mean, Valdosta was good, right? And yeah. some of these other teams yeah. we've played in the last three or four years have been good. But yeah. uh, these guys are, you know, top five that since I've been coaching well, at Dalton High that, that I think we faced. And I think you bring up a great point by taking us back to Northside. We could certainly sit here and say, well, are they equivalent to Harrison? They are. Um, could you say that they're equivalent to Douglas County that we played two years ago? Physically, very similar. But I think you take us to a great place because of this reason. When you look at what they did throughout the course of those 136 plays offense and defense, their skill was not what beat us. They were disciplined. Right. They were a well-coached, well-disciplined yep. football that had skills. And that, that's when you – that's when you, That's a tough combination because we play – Teams much more athletic than us, but we know that our discipline is always the advantage for us. 
flip side of the coin, certainly we play some mm -hmm. teams that, that we know that, that going in, they may not be as athletic as us, but they're disciplined, and so we have to be more disciplined. Than them. When you add that combination of athleticism and discipline, it's just a, it's 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 like playing a completely different team, and you know, and then you get into the skill guys, number nine, number two, number one. I mean, you're talking about guys, ten, seven hundred meter guys, and they've got multiple guys on the field. And to our defense's credit, thought they did a great job controlling, getting as many three and outs as they could. We always talk about big plays, but the reality is, too many weapons. I mean, there's right. too many weapons on the field for the depth that we had. And so I thought offensively, I thought we played, you know, we, we made some mistakes early on that got us behind the, the eight ball. It's one thing to turn the ball over, but you can't turn the ball over and get a pick six. That's, that, that's kind of yeah. almost like the kiss of death. But I thought after that, settled in, ran the game plan. We certainly ran the ball pretty well against them, did some things that we needed to do. But certainly the rain changes that game plan, and being down 21-3 to changes your game plan. Now you're off script. You got to defensively. I thought our defense did everything that they could do, given what we had to work with. Uh, but the biggest thing is, like I said, as that game wore on, you could just see they began to develop a strategy that knew what our strategy was. And, and basically, you'll even see it when we watch the highlights. They take their, their number one quarterback out. He's been gimpy for the last three weeks. They put him out take the free safety over, put him at free safety. <laughs> kind of a similar story to us. Yeah. The difference is they bring over a guy that's <clears> committed <throat> to Louisville right. and, and went to go direct snap. And truthfully, maybe they're, I won't say they're a better offense, but certainly they're, they're as dangerous, if not more dangerous. And so, like I said, when you got a team that's got that many weapons, they don't miss a stride. And so, like I said, I thought I'm very proud of our kids. thought our coaches, thought our players fought the entire 48 Absolutely. minutes. And that's the mark of a great team, and that's why I think this is a great team that we coached this year. Absolutely. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll, we'll take a look back at the 2019 season and discuss it a little bit. Hi, my name is Charles R. Hicks Sr. I'm the owner of Transformers Transmission Complete All Repair Specialist and we are excited. It is football season. Another thing that we're excited about is our new facility opening here at 844 Sugar Road in Dalton, Georgia. Our other location at 815 East Walnut Avenue is still open to help continue your car service. So just give us a call at 706-529-2706 and from the Transformers family, God, God bless, bless and, and have, have a beautiful, beautiful day. day. With VidLink, OptiLink's exciting new entertainment platform, you'll have the freedom to stream VidLink content on multiple devices, even when away from home. Plus, with VidLink, you can access the widest array of content on the market. You'll get great features like Restart, Replay, Cloud-based DVR storage, all HD programming, and so much more. Contact us today to see how you can get linked to the next big thing in video entertainment. Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com Welcome back to the Academy Mount Football Show. We've got our coaches segment. We've got Coach Ricky Hammontree. Coach, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, sir. I'm glad to be here. All right. So let's talk a little bit about uh, your responsibilities this year. What 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 uh, your job duties were with the Academy Mount Football Team? Uh, this year was a uh, defense uh, as a cornerback coach um, and a lot of uh, a lot of film and uh, for the defensive side. Um, Friday nights was up in the booth, um, kind of just uh, communicate to Coach Carpenter and all the other coaches on the sidelines as far as special teams. Uh, what we've uh, accumulated on through the week as far as um, uh, tendencies and if they're on or if they're tracking, if they're not. Talk a little bit about, you know, people that go to the game, they see you guys up there in the box and see us on the sidelines with our headsets on. Talk about defensively what, what the communication flow is from the box down to the field. Communication flow is, is uh, as far as when a play is, is ran and it's over, you literally have, you know, 25, 30 seconds to, to identify personnel. Uh, of what packages they've got, it, they got people coming on, got people coming off. Um, so there's not a lot of time to, to be guessing. You have to, you have to visually be, be able to see what you can do to um, adjust. Ex explain the impact that, that 
changing two people can have on a team's offense. I mean, you get you say personnel group changes. Explain how that can Im impact the the uh, the defensive play call for us. Uh, for us, it would be um, as far as you know, they uh, ten personnel, four wide receivers. Mm -hmm. uh, they start bringing in H backs, uh, full backs, and it's um, we call it eleven. Uh, 21 personnel it goes to uh, from just a, um, a standpoint of being four wide to uh, uh, is bringing in hippos and tight ends is more of a run set. But I think I, what I was getting at the the point that you made is is identifying who's coming off and on because if they go from four wides, all of a sudden there's two tight ends, it's a it's a whole different call for us, right? A whole Correct. different setup. Yes. I mean the yeah. the the uh, uh, format the offensive personnel group really affects what you guys do. Yes, sir. Yes, absolutely. So how about on the field uh, practice? Talking about work, working with the cornerbacks and, and uh, those kids there, and, that, and your your, part, your uh, position group. Uh, as far as position group, we we're not you know we got uh, slim numbers. We had uh, one senior, Malachi Gregory. Uh, one junior was uh, um, AJ Hernandez, and the rest of the guys were sophomores or freshmen. Uh, about five or six guys: um, Tate and Benton. Uh, those guys, um, great guys in, in practice to work with. They work hard. Um, most more importantly, on the in the classroom, they're just as, as good as they are on the field, uh, as far as grade wise, and so um, really. So, what's the first when you when you w start coaching these guys at the beginning of the season, as far as the fundamentals of being a, a cornerback in the Dalton defense? What's the first thing they've got to know? What's the first skill, the number one thing they've got to be able to do? Uh, first off and foremost is 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 to know your job, know where you got to be, uh, don't be out of position, um, and. Uh, being a team player uh, is most importantly in anything is just making sure you're not out of alignment of whatever calls on the field um, just if it's, uh, it's cover three it's cover two cover four if it's man you know your job and you know you know where you what you have to do mm -hmm. now you're a community coach like me so you're not at the school all the time talk about balancing the challenges of balancing a, a full-time job along with an, another full-time full job coaching job. football. Right. Uh, it's like I work locally here in Dalton at a, a company. It's um, one of our corporate sponsors, Bear Paper Tube. Uh, very a very good, good, great place to work. They're very accommodating with me getting here on time uh, and, and sometimes more than they should be. Uh, so uh, thank God, you know, thank God for those guys. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, like I said, it, it takes a lot of time from your um, we spend a lot of times with our with other kids more than we do our own. Right. So and what there's made nothing you, wrong with that. It's just it's, it, it's it part takes of it. Part right. of it. Right. So what made you decide that you wanted to to make this commitment and and put yourself out there and, and the challenges that it creates for us in our personal life? What what, what led you to do that? For um, the, for the I team? I started out about like you did rec league. Um, I didn't I didn't do a lot of with the middle school. Kind of went to a couple practices there and 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 with Coach Patrick and Coach Martinez. Uh, great um, environment with those guys for about a year, and then uh, got the call from Coach Land, and uh, and was just invited to uh, come out and work with the freshman team. Uh, first year, been here five, four years. This makes my fourth year. Uh, started out with the freshman team, um, and just a developmental the freshman, get them uh, getting used to the next year and on up to JV, uh, and w went wonderful. And from the First year to the second year, it, it started taking steps and, and more of a responsibility. And then finally, uh, the third year, I got to be a, what you call a position coach, mm -hmm. varsity-wise, and uh, as an outside linebackers coach. And then this year, went to corner. All right. Well, very good. Well, thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate everything you do for Catamount Football. Stay right here. We'll be back with more in just a minute. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, the destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. At Engineered Floors, we make sure better is in every detail. Technology has always been the foundation of Engineered Floors. 
pushing past what we believed was possible. Rather than having several buildings for each part of our manufacturing process, we put everything under one roof, from beginning to end, which means easier production, faster turnarounds, and better work environments. When it comes to the environment, we've taken extra care to leave a smaller footprint, especially as we grow. Stain resistant, pet friendly, durable, beautiful, guaranteed. We create our flooring with our customers and their daily needs in mind. We are invested in this community and the economy that has been created by the industry we love. And after all of this, we still know that we can do more. As long as our customers need us, we'll continue to fearlessly pursue better. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Welcome back to the Catamount Football Show. We have a very special guest tonight. We have Miss Amanda Holt, who is... Now the head athletic trainer for the Dalton Athletic Program. Yes, sir. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So why don't you kind of introduce yourself to everybody and, and give us background, where you went to school, how you got here, all those good things. All right. Well, I'm Amanda Holt. I'm obviously a new trainer here. And basically, I went to Liberty University for four years, got my bachelor's in athletic training. I'm currently working on my master's in it. Oh, now where do you do that? Um, um, University of St. Augustine oh, online, okay. so okay. that's how I get to work full time and still okay. go to school. Fantastic. So. so tell me how you got to, to the uh, Dalton Catamounts. Worked at a high school before up in Tennessee and they wound up cutting our program, looking for a job, and this is the first one that popped up, so that's Fantastic. how I wound up here. <laughs> that's right. You've been here now, what, about a month or so? About a month, month and a half, yes, yeah. sir. And one very important fact, you're a Tennessee Volunteers fan. So, I am. <laughs> so you and I connected right away on that, on that, that front. That is true. We've got a few guys on the team that are, that are Vols fans, so we all got to stick together. It makes it a lot easier because we're in foreign territory. Absolutely. So, so tell me about the, the, your role as athletic trainer. Why don't you explain um, what you guys do and how you interact with, with not only the football team but all the athletic teams. My role is kind of twofold. Um, on one hand, I'm kind of the emergency services. I'm on the sideline. Um, that immediate care when that athlete goes down, I'm the first one usually to get to them. I'm the first one to assess them. If we have team doctors, they play a crucial role in that. And then we kind of get them off and assess them from there. But I'm also the rehab side of it. I'm mm -hmm. also not only the first one there, I'm the one that usually wraps up with them, gets them back through exercise and all that to get them back on the field and up to 100%. So when there's basketball, you're at their practices, you're at their games and... Mm -hmm. on on through the season yep mostly contact sports right now we just started basketball wrestling and swimming so kind of transitioning from fall to winter and then as soon as winter wraps up that starts the crazy time of my lacrosse is soccer uh, baseball, baseball golf tennis so track track and field yes sir yeah. so so how do you manage when you've got in the fall I mean really it's it's mostly just football happening there's not a whole lot of other things going on how do you manage when you get into winter and spring when you've got multiple sports going on at one time? Winter's not too bad. Uh, mostly swimming and diving doesn't have a lot, so it's mostly just wrestling and basketball, which is nice. But the nice thing about us is we are just home games because other schools have athletic trainers. We don't have to travel, which kind of cuts our workload in half and lets mm -hmm. us focus on just what's going on at home and just our athletes. Oh, that is good. So, I yes. didn't, didn't realize that. So talk about your philosophy as far as caring for the athletes when they've got an injury, uh, the, the old uh, balance you have between wanting to get it back out to practice but also wanting to make sure that, that, they're, that they're, it's safe for them to do so. Yes, sir. It's a very hard line to walk because obviously you get attached to these kids and the coaches right. and you obviously you hate telling them no. But at the same time with our training, we know if we don't tell you no now, you can cost yourself your future. And that's, I kind of think that's my philosophy and how I kind of get these kids to understand is you've got to think this is one game that yes matters, but in the long run, you're looking at your college career, mm -hmm. per, probably professional if you're lucky. You got to keep that in mind or just your overall health in general. You right. don't want complications later in life. All right. So as think talking to parents out here, when, when, they're, when their student athlete comes home and, and they're complaining about something hurt, 
Should they take him to the pediatrician or should they send him to see you first? Definitely see me first. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we have a wide range of doctors that yeah. are literally on our cell phones one call away. So it is so much easier, just send them to me. And again, I'm one of those trainers, I don't like to hold you out. I'd much rather, let's get you seen, let's know what's going on so we can get you back out there quicker. So we have wonderful partnership with AOSM. Uh, and, and I think the thing parents need to understand if you take them immediately to the pediatrician, their first answer is out two weeks. Yes. They're not trained in, in, in managing sports and athletes. Mm -hmm. they, they really need to be seen by somebody that is familiar with that. And you're, you're, the, first, you're the first person yeah, they need to see. Yeah, we are that first right? line yep. of contact. We're that first. We don't have quite as much as orthopedics and all that, but we're that first line to say, this is what I think. Is it something we even need to send, or is this something we can do at home? So that one saves the parents money and time mm -hmm. for simple things that don't need to go, or it go it saves time in no, we need to get this looked at now. Right, and I think the other thing for especially for football parents to know that during the fall, AOS, AOSM has a has an injury clinic. Yes, at sir. Start, it's at seven thirty. Um, seven seven thirty on and, Saturdays. And goes they see everybody that shows up, mm -hmm. and, and so that after after you've seen them on Friday night, you can send them to that clinic on Saturday if they need it, right? And we can. And the nice thing about that is all of us athletic trainers take turns mm -hmm. rotating, so we're there in the mornings too. So we still have that parent athlete contact. So if we know one of our athletes are going, we can look at the parents and say, hey. We'll be there too, don't worry. Absolutely. Well, so. thank you so much. We, no we're uh, we're excited you. to have you here, and uh, it's always good to have another orange person <laughs> around with us. So I'm excited about that. Excited to be working with y'all. Right. Stay right here back with more Cam Mount Football after these messages. Why should you make the switch to First Bank of Dalton? My bank gives back to our community. My bank understands our changing needs. My bank made my dream home my home. My bank has the tools I need to manage my business. My bank helps me save. My bank make decisions locally. Need more reasons? Stop by and see why First Bank of Dalton should be your bank for life. Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Are you tired of driving to Chattanooga to have a great dinner? Look no further than Walnut Hill Farm right here in Whitfield County. We are now serving dinner on Thursday and Friday nights. Our team of Matt Barrett and Jason Joseph have put together what we believe is the finest menu in Whitfield County. With a wine selection of over 50 bottles and 50 miles of mountain range in the background, this will be your go-to for romantic dinners and dinner with friends. We look forward to seeing you out here, 5 o'clock on Thursday and Friday nights. Back to Catamount Football, we've got our player interview segment. We've got uh, Brant Bagley with us, who uh, was missed, I guess, during the season. We didn't get you on, so we wanted to have you on uh, yes, here, here at the last show. So introduce yourself. I, I kind of did already, but I always have it, the guys introduce themselves. Name, jersey number, position, all that good stuff. Brant Bagley, a senior offensive lineman, number 53. All right. So you came to Dalton. Let's talk, let's talk about your, your Catamount background. Uh, you, have, you have a long family connection. Yes, and you came two years ago. So let's talk about that whole thing. First off, talk about your family members that, that have been Catamounts and, and, and that whole history. Well, I'm the fourth generation to go to Dalton and the third to play for Dalton. My granddad was on the state championship team, and then my dad played here and got a scholarship to play at UTC, and now and, I'm here. And your great uncle. And my great uncle, yes. With twins, right? Twins. Donald and Ronald yes, sir. were on the 67 state championship team. Yes, sir. And your dad, Clint, played in the uh, early, 90s. early 90s and went to UTC and played football. And then you were in Chattanooga at Boy Buchanan. You guys decided. So talk about the decision to move down here and the decision to become a Catamount uh, and, and tell me about that process and how it's been. It was one of the best decisions I've made coming down here. It's a totally different brand of football, different game completely. The game speed's different. Just playing for a community like this is totally different, too. Yeah. So you played uh, mostly guard for us uh, for the last two years, played some center. Uh, talk about our offensive line group and, and how close you guys are and, and, and the way you all fit together these last two years. 
Well, we've been, we've all started since last year. We started as juniors and it's the same five this year. And so we've really all kind of bonded just through playing and being out there together for so long. It's almost like we know what each other's gonna check so we're gonna make before we make it. Mm -hmm. You had a great addition uh, in Christian who, Christian Morgan who moved in uh, to Dalton after, after a hurricane down in, down in Panama City. Uh, talk about him a little bit. Uh, we just brought him in and treated him like he'd been there the whole time, you know, accepted him really well, and he ended up starting for us this year, and it was a good addition. Yeah. So talk to me about, about the season in, in your view, uh, personally and, and as the team, team went. It was a little disappointing. Uh, I think we could have played a little better in some games, mm -hmm. but overall I think we learned a lot and, you know, just became a team more. Yeah. You, you played exclusively uh, left guard this year. Uh, we we kind of developed into a buck sweep team. That that became your favorite play. Yep. Explain that a little bit. And uh, you know we've, we've seen a bunch of highlights this year of you running and knocking people down, blocking people on buck sweep. Uh, well, buck sweep, you know, like he said, became our main play just because we get two people out in front in front of Jameer, and when you get someone to block in front of him, and then you leave him one on one with a safety, I'll take him one on one with a safety anytime. So talk about blocking for him and and how he is as a teammate and. Uh, the things that you see him do on the field and in practice. He makes us right anytime. You know, Coach Land sometimes even says, you know, you don't even have to block them, just get in their way and make them pick a direction, and he'll go the other way. And he's always the first one to be over there congratulating the O-line, telling them thank you uh, after he scores. I think that's the thing that I've been impressed with him. He's had a lot of attention this year. A lot of people tell him how good he is, but he's remained very humble, hasn't he? Yes, he has. How does that make you guys feel when you see him just still being a regular guy. It's proud, you know, it's, we feel like that's our accomplishment too, you know, getting all right. him all that. Absolutely. So you have some aspirations to play in college. Let's talk about that a little bit. We, you know, you've been on a couple of visits already and probably got some others coming up. Yes, sir. I'm just trying to find a place to play right yeah. now. Yeah, so talk about where you've been. And uh, I've been to Reinhardt, West Georgia, and Barry College. Mm -hmm. so. That's right. And all excellent places and, and probably have some more choices, right? Yes, sir. You're also a multi-sport guy. Yes, Tell sir. us about that about that side of your uh, athletic prowess. Uh, I play third base, uh, play baseball, I guess, baseball third base. Yeah. And uh, I have some schools looking at me for that too, but uh, I'm hoping to play football. Yeah, you think so? so? Yes, sir. The true winter sport, high school baseball, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> you guys will be in long johns and hand warmers for, for the first month and a half of the season. Yes, sir, starting in February. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for for uh, everything you've done and uh, being such a leader for us on the offensive line. We've uh, you know, really enjoyed having you with us for the last two years and it's been a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Thanks, guys. Right. So right here back with more in just a minute. You know what makes Carpet Express different from other foreign companies? We care about you so that you can make the right choice for your home. At Carpet Express, we offer carpet, vinyl, wood, laminate, ceramic tile, and luxury vinyl tile. We don't only sell you a product. At Carpet Express, we offer quality installation backed by a warranty. We don't stock one or two products. At Carpet Express, we stock up to 100 different products in each category at affordable prices. So come to Carpet Express where we care about you. Blue. Blue is big. You've got the deep blue sea, the big blue sky, and more people in more countries like blue than any other color. That's big. And in the world of real estate, blue stands for one of the biggest brands. Caldwell Banker. 91,000 agents across 47 countries gives you a super-powered Rolodex and the marketplace muscle of a brand recognized from Indiana to India. So join the blue. Join Caldwell Banker and start doing bigger, better, and bluer things in real estate. Coach, we left Dalton and it was about 60 degrees and sunny. And by the time two and a half hours later, when we land in uh, the Kula, it's 43 and raining. I'm telling you what, I, you know, and I, I hate to say that it caught me by surprise because I'd spoken with a buddy of mine from Buford that morning and he had said, hey, it's been raining a pretty good bit over here. Uh, but lo and behold, man, it rained the entire game. I thought it was just going to be kind of overcast, but whew, it was terrible. Really did. <clears throat> Bad break right here. Ball just bounces off Karim's hands. And, yep. And their guys right there for the for the uh, rebound. Well, they do such a good job. That the good, the great teams, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna make you pay when you make a mistake. Yep. And, Toss sweep there on the know, goal line. This year we've been over 95% scoring on turnovers. 
And once again, that's what this team did to us. And you're going to see it here again here in just a minute. But once again, a good job right here. Hunter Nolan, I don't know there's a tougher kid per pound on the field. Absolutely. Boy, just. And there it is. There it is. Yeah, that right there. Uh, you know, and, and I don't kind of understand this. Uh, we come up with the ball. And we are tried to argue that. And this is part of the problem with these playoff crews. They don't, you don't have relationships with them. Yep. And because of that, you can't get an explanation on a penalty. You couldn't get an explanation. And, uh, you know, I don't know if that's uh, the way they act in their region. Certainly our, our, our group does a good job of communicating with us. So uh, very, very upset about that. But as the game went on, you had to continue to coach. Yep. See here, buck sweep to Jameer. Does a good job of getting the edge right there. And back here we come again with it. Those are, those are hard third, yards. May third, yeah, it's a major third down right yeah. there. Three and four hard yards at a time is what we were getting. Number 33 may be the best linebacker. He was I really think good. And we, we have a good crop of linebackers in our region. Yep, this guy was really good. There's a good run right here. And I see this one again. There you see. Had a little miscommunication over there between Christian and Josh, and Jameer just made the guy miss and yeah. bent it right back. Good job right there. Love seeing those guys getting yeah. downfield making blocks. Well, right here, you hate this next play, though, right here. This is a touchdown right here. Oh, uh, he just slippery field and cut and lost his balance. Ended up having to kick a field goal. The other thing against a team like this, you need to be scoring touchdowns. You don't well, be, that's exactly right. You but you got to take points you early take on. Right. You, 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 take I felt like at that point, the the uh, emotion of at least getting points was more valuable Absolutely. than those four points. You know, the possibility of not. Absolutely. So uh, it's just up that we got to put the ball in the end zone. Absolutely. Great job right here. I, I take Caleb is a guy that we're going to be a he's going to be a leader for us next year. Uh, you see good pressure up front out of Christian Lama and John Ross, two of our leaders there. Great job forcing him to get the ball out. This quarterback, who is a, we mentioned it last week, is a, uh, uh, a commitment to um, uh, Georgia Southern baseball player. You could tell he really could throw a good ball. Uh, and, uh, but their running game was exceptional yep. just because of the speed uh, and the dynamics of these young guys that they have. So, so into the first quarter, 14 to 3. Yeah, this kid right here is a, is a pretty special kid. Number two and number nine uh, are guys that's going to play a lot of ball on Saturdays. Um, That's just a great individual play right oh, there. Oh, absolutely. I mean, man. Uh, absolutely. We had angles and we couldn't close them. That's exactly right. Because of his speed. Good snap right here. And then once again, uh, you see this guy right here. I mean, you just, you could feel how dangerous it was. You see the block in the Walking back right back, there. Yeah. Good job, Parker Adams, turning back in. Vincent Vignier. And of course, Tyson Swope, who's giving you everything he's got. Good to see our kicker, JJ Robledo, <laughs> getting down there. Good play right here by, uh, by Lane Cox. Comes in and makes it. And then right here, they've been setting that up, throwing it to number two. This time they switched it up, let number nine have it. And, of course, he goes in for the score. Come back. A little kick out play right here. Good job by uh, Jameer of reading that. You see, 44 does a good job of squeezing down there, and Idre gets a piece of him, but... Yeah, good uh, job there by five. Yep. Jameer, I was going to say, what did you say? He ended up with 180 yards? Yeah, 182 yards on 18 carries. There's Maurice who will be back next year. Good heart. That's right. tough running with Maurice. Maurice Howard will be a very, very good player for us next year. Yeah. Good job right here. Got to wrap up, though. A big hit right there and in good pursuit. This young man right here, number two, as we talked about, they had three guys that played tailback, and they all three were great. Flea flicker. They did a good job of having us cover downfield, and Landon makes a smart play, doesn't, uh, doesn't throw it into. <laughs> we get the out of bounds there, and then you get yeah. the official knocked out <laughs> on the sideline. So 28 to 3 at halftime. Home is a place where all are welcome. It's where the story begins. It's not a place, it's a feeling. Home is where the heart is. At Furniture of Dalton, we handpick each of our 150 brands so that you can find your perfect heart's desire. 
Come see what you've been missing at Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton. The destination that brings you home. Exit 328 off I-75. Hi, I'm Dr. Reginald Sherrill. Are you tired of sweaty underarms and dealing with deodorant stains on your clothes? We're performing a procedure called Mirror Dry. It's safe, non-invasive, sweat and odor free, deodorant free. It is clinically proven and FDA approved. I've had the procedure and it really works. The procedure takes about one hour. It's local anesthesia and works immediately. Call our office, Dalton Plastic Surgery, 706-226-3311. 706-226-3311. So they take the opening drive, and at this point, they've decided to bench their starting quarterback and take number two from free safety. And, of course, they took the opening drive, went down about 60 yards on us and scored, making the score 35-3. to three. Come back, some of our two-back stuff, flip it out to Jameer there. You see the rain right there. You yeah. see how hard it was coming down. Very hard to sustain the drive uh, against their defense. Good job by, by Crossland, my son, and Ethan Long, uh, Coach Long's son. They did a great job of keeping the balls dry the other night and letting us, uh, letting us play as safe as we can with them. Great job right here by our defense, and, and you, you got them down there. You want to keep them on the line. You want to try to keep them inside, and then, boom, number two goes basically goes 88 yards for a touchdown right here. Just no match for speed. Nope. At the end of the day, there's no match for speed. So 42 to three. So at this point, our guys had to, had an, had the uh, option to quit and give up and fold their tent. And uh, you know, with it being 49 to three, but I was very proud that they didn't do that. Absolutely, and I think that's the story. I mean, at that point, it's what what do you do when adversity? Everybody's good, right. you know. Everybody everybody plays well when they're ahead. But how are you gonna play now for these guys? You know, you know what you you you, you know the outside of a miracle. You know what the score's going to be. So how are you going to continue to fight? How are you going to continue to play? Because your legacy it may not be just in a season. It could be in a play or a drive, uh, what people are going to think about you. And Absolutely. so love to see the character in these guys, the way they fought right here. And you see we're taking it to them. they still got starters in there. Yep. Guys, they were determined to score. I mean, I, that's, they kept talking about when they came to the sidelines and – uh, this, this is a team that averaged, we need to make this point, this is a team that averaged less than 12 points. I mean, they're the number, I think they were the number four defense in the state. Right. So this is a team that only had 12 points scored against them per game. Good to see Jameer getting the end zone. Good snap by senior Harrison Jones. Good hold there by Parker Adams, who'll be back next year. And then, of course, J.J. Robledo and, uh, and uh, uh, Pepe Lara, who did our kicking for us. Another good looking athlete yeah. there, number seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back here and run a little split zone on us. Great job right here by John Ross. Love to see these guys playing with a little bit of an edge to them right here, which is what you got to do, especially against these kind of teams. You see them right here. Good job, Brock Johnson, a sophomore that started for us at middle linebacker, or, or started for us at linebacker, bullet linebacker. He'll be back next year. Then right here, good job by Caleb Hernandez turning it inside. Getting backside pursuit, not letting him have the edge. Great job right there. Love seeing the fight in these guys. Yep. Turn it over on downs. Great block there by Brant. Wow. Yep. Brant did a good job all year for us. I had him on the show tonight. He did. He did an outstanding job. He sure did. You see right there yep. on 39. And gets up and finds another one. That's right. And, that, and that, that's a great point there to also make that. That's the kind of people they're going to find. They're going to find ways to make things happen. But they're also those. Are the, that's the schools come in. They look that catches Absolutely. people's attention. Not just a great block, but the fact he continued that's his right, job. He just didn't lay there. He got after it. I think we're going to miss that probably as much as anything is is, is Jameer's ability to make something out of sometimes when yeah. there's nothing. Good play action. Good throw and catch. Karim will be back next year. That's right, a sophomore for us. Yep. Started about three sophomores this year on offense at one time or another. Good touch pass there by Landon. Certainly it's not something you can you can coach that much. That's one of those things that's a little bit more natural. Go for two. 
And you get to the end. Yeah, great job there. So that puts us to 18. Running clock situation in the fourth quarter, which is uh, not something you want. That. No. That's right. Great job here, though, by Dekula. Great job by our players. Good luck to them the rest of the way. Uh, certainly, you, you pull for those teams. Won't be surprised to see them in the no, in the uh, not at all. Wherever they the Turner Field, wherever that's they play right. Wherever it's at yeah, this yeah, year, that's, that's right. right. Why should you make the switch to First Bank of Dalton? My bank gives back to our community. My bank understands our changing needs. My bank made my dream home my home. My bank has the tools I need to manage my business. My bank helps me save. My bank make decisions locally. Need more reasons? Stop by and see why First Bank of Dalton should be your bank for life. Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. Are you tired of driving to Chattanooga to have a great dinner? Look no further than Walnut Hill Farm right here in Whitfield County. We are now serving dinner on Thursday and Friday nights. Our team of Matt Barrett and Jason Joseph have put together what we believe is the finest menu in Whitfield County. With a wine selection of over 50 bottles and 50 miles of mountain range in the background, this will be your go-to for romantic dinners and dinner with friends. We look forward to seeing you out here, 5 o'clock on Thursday and Friday nights. Coach, let's talk a little bit about, since this is the last show, let's talk yeah. a little bit about the this past season, 2019. Started out um, with a couple of local teams and, mm -hmm. and moved into our region play. Just kind of kind of give your perspective on, on this past year. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I think it all starts with with this group is how hard they worked. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to, um, to come through a year like we came out of 2018, not making the playoffs, certainly having some challenges within our, our team and just the things that happen as you go through the season. Um, the number one thing was this, this senior group, they really kind of took, took hold of the reins in January. Uh, and, and practically December. I mean, since we right. didn't make the playoffs, they went to Coach Thompson, Coach Cole, and said, hey, we want to start workouts now. We, we don't want to wait until January. We want to start now. We want to get a head start. And so we put our workout plan into place, and they started working out. We started leadership training in July the 5th, 14 weeks of leadership training every Monday. Uh, these guys did outstanding each week. And we talked about some tough, tough issues. I mean, you know, you've been some good leadership training. It's not easy. I mean, right. you've got to get to the uncomfortable area to really make a difference. We went through that. We get into spring practice, have a really, really good spring practice, and have a good scrimmage against Darlington. I felt like we came out of Darlington saying to ourselves, we got a chance to be special. Mm -hmm. But we also knew coming out of Darlington, we had to be healthy. Right. And that was a key component. So the, the, the summer months, we really spent focused on – you know, preparing our bodies, preparing our minds, pre you know, getting ready for potentially a long season. Uh, we, we, when we normally do, I think I've, you know, right at around five to six, seven on sevens in the summer. We did 12 this year because we knew that that was a part of our game. We had to develop. And then to suddenly get into August, work in through the, those first couple of weeks. And, and I think we knew from the scrimmaging this was going to be a very physical group and they were going to be a very well coached group but they were also going to need to be disciplined. And so we began to instruct and build and do more, a little bit more than maybe we thought we should do, and we began to pair a little bit mm -hmm. of that back. And then I think we get into those first two games. We have the scrimmage game against Cardinal, which kind of certainly that's a great meter to find who we are. And we get into those first two local games, and you know certainly I don't think – I think it surprised us maybe how much we did score right. and what we're able to do. I don't think that, but I don't think it surprised us and how well these guys executed, because this had probably been the number one year of of mental off season work that mm -hmm. we've done. And I think those first two games we reaped the benefits of really all of that off season work. And so to to kind of get into that, uh, get through those first two games, certainly not thinking they're preseason games, but knowing those games don't count. I felt uh, like we, the goal. I felt like we came out of the gate 
in in game three or four. Um, That's a great way execution. of looking at it. I, I, mean, I agree with that. 100%. Normally, your first couple of games are absolutely are a little fumbly, a little suspect. We, I mean, we came out no, clicking, that. clicking right out of the right out of the gate. Absolutely, and and then you get into the region schedule, right? And certainly, it's a gamut. I mean, when you look at it, uh, this year we played five ranked teams within the season going into the last game, and and you know of those five, three of those, four of those were inside of our region, and and two of those were in the top five. And I think at the end of the day, the thing that for me will be the, the reminder of this team is how well they overcame adversity. Mm -hmm. And not just one time, but two times and three times and four times. It was like each week after that, after that game two, when we started our region, it was almost like every single week we had an injury. Right. And at one point, we've got eight starters sitting on the bench. Okay. And when we just got to the original point, we cannot – get injured this year for us to have a chance. And these guys just didn't take that as an excuse. Right. They kept working and kept, uh, kept dreaming. You know, injury, I mean, injuries are always part of the game. Absolutely. And, and, but you look, at, you look at the injury to Landon, and that was certainly a big one. I think that's one that every, everybody points to. But I tell you one that affected us, and, and those of us around it every day realize it was, was Ozzy's Absolutely. ankle. Absolutely. He, was, he was playing so well before he got hurt at Creekview. That's right. And, and then he missed, I don't know, he missed two or three games after that. That's right. And, he, and even last Friday night, it's still dogging him. He, he lost yep. a lot of his – he had really done a great job of – Lateral his, quickness. His lateral and quickness in his movement, and he lost a yeah. lot of that. And, yeah. and, it, and it hurt us. I mean, it did. he wasn't able to do some things. And we needed – it wasn't like we would say, well, take him out and put Christian in over there. Right. Because we got into running a lot of six offensive line That's right. uh, formations. That's right. That's so exactly that, so right. So – Landon and Ashton were big injuries for us. Absolutely. But I think Ozzy's was – they were up here. He was – that no, one was about right there for us. Absolutely. And you go to the defensive side, yep. Gabe probably has the best game of his career. And I know I watched it that first, that, that first game uh, against Ringo. And you're sitting there going, wow, he has worked so hard. I'm so proud of him, what he's ever come. And then, he, boom, hyperextended elbow. He, a dislocated elbow. He's out. Right. Six weeks. And to his – man, to his credit – that cat came back within four weeks. He was back on the field uh, and, and just showing how tough he was. But, you know, so you, you weren't just on offense. It was on the defensive side. And you watch that transpire of how each man, somebody had to step up. And we always talk about that. Somebody's got to step up. Mm -hmm. And certainly they did. And I think that's going to be the mark of this team, that each week somebody stepped up. And, and sometimes it's not – a one person stepping up, it's the collective group stepping up and those DBs playing better or those, those offensive linemen playing better or the backs running harder. Or the, right. you know, it just that We had to change how we got to where we wanted to get. Once again, making the playoffs and then arguably facing the best team in the state possibly in the Tequila, uh, which is yet to be determined, but certainly watching them and seeing how well we fought. And, you know, that's the one thing I want to end on that segment with just the players just say, you know, 48 minutes in every game, and we played 11 of those. So, I mean, you're talking about 500-plus minutes. I can't think of one minute that our guys didn't fight throughout the whole Absolutely. season, not to mention the last 48. And for that, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of our coaches and thought it's the true mark of a champion, not just the scoreboard, but how well those guys fought throughout the game. Very, very proud of this team. Absolutely. On that note, we'll take a break and be back in just a minute. Hi, my name is Charles R. Hicks Sr. I'm the owner of Transformers Transmission Complete All Repair Specialist and we are excited. It is football season. Another thing that we're excited about is our new facility opening here at 844 Sugar Road in Dalton, Georgia. Our other location at 815 East Walnut Avenue is still open to help continue your car service. So just give us a call at 706-529-2706 and from the Transformers family, God, God bless, bless and have a beautiful, beautiful day. day. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership, offers our exclusive 10-year, 150,000-mile limited warranty and our $1,000 low-price guarantee. Ford of Dalton, I-75, exit 336, or FordofDalton.com. Big things are happening at Hamilton. Anna Shaw Children's Institute, People's Cancer Institute, new physician practices near you, and Hamilton Medical Center is number one for overall hospital care. Hamilton Healthcare System, health for life. 
With VidLink, OptiLink's exciting new entertainment platform, you'll have the freedom to stream VidLink content on multiple devices, even when away from home. Plus, with VidLink, you can access the widest array of content on the market. You'll get great features like Restart, Replay, Cloud-based DVR storage, all HD programming, and so much more. Contact us today to see how you can get linked to the next big thing in video entertainment. Buy from the pros who know at Proformance Sports Academy. Our pro shop has one of the largest selections of bats, gloves, and cleats in the North Georgia area. Featuring Rawlings, Wilson, Louisville Slugger, DeMarini, Mizuno, and the largest New Balance cleat dealer in the area. We provide baseball and softball gear for travel leagues, rec leagues, middle school, and high school programs. Get your baseball and softball training, equipment, and uniforms from the former collegiate and professional players who know at Proformance Sports Academy. ProformanceSportsAcademy.com All right, Coach, back to wrap up the show. And, and yep. before we do here, let's talk, let's talk a little bit about – we talked about the team in 2019. There's been uh, – we've had quite a few guys with some yep. individual um, recognition and, and probably a lot more to come. Sure. Obviously, we all know about Jameer ended up with 25 – 25, 40 almost, on 226 rushes. Leading rusher in the state, right. all classifications, and That's we'll right. probably maintain that through the end of the year. Top 20 in the country. Uh, I would think all state, sure, all oh, region, yeah, no, no all doubt. you know, yeah. and, and has, year, yeah, yeah, has a lot of great you offers like coming. Sure. I think the the in, the great thing though is I think we'll probably have at least three of our offensive linemen. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a chance to to play in college. Ozzy um, is going to go to Tennessee Tech. Yep, he's great already committed. For him, Fantastic right. opportunity. I think Brant and Christian mm -hmm. uh, already making some visits, and they're going to get some opportunities. Yep, yep. Landon's going to have a chance to play. Yep, yep. Uh, on defense, we, we know we got Gabe. Gabe, I think Christian Lama is going to have an opportunity. John got, Ross uh, is going John to walk Ross on. Is preferred walk yep. on at Georgia Tech, and he could actually you know, he could have an offer somewhere down the road. You don't know that, and I think you know there's some other guys in there that might get a mix of of looks there. So sure. it's very exciting. This, this is the time of year where, you know, you have to kind of look at, at a team. Yes, the team is, we, we, we always talk about team, but there is the individual perspective of, of what you're doing, and that is you're playing, if you want it, you're playing for an opportunity at Absolutely. that next level. And a lot of our guys do. Some of our guys don't. I think that that's an important point to make. There's nothing wrong with it. There's guys that, in fact, we've probably left, uh, and I'm, I'm going to kind of go out here and be in, 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 you know, a, a, a not exact number, but it's probably pretty relative. I bet we've had in the last, 10 years that I've been a head coach, we've probably had somewhere between 8 to maybe 12 players that could have played at the next level that just quite honestly said, you know what, I, it's good enough. I, I can enjoy make it playing. Five. It may be more than that. Yeah, it may be more than that. I'm trying That's to be right. conservative. Yeah. But they just – it's Dalton High football was that right. good. The experience was that good. And we'll talk a little bit about whose credit that's to. But more importantly, they, they, they worked hard. But for a lot of these guys, they want that next opportunity. And they've got to measure – is the next opportunity worth it? Because you could potentially be going to a school that maybe you're playing in front of a t crowd on Saturday that's not as big as what you played on Friday night or at a facility that's as nice as what you've been preparing in. But at the end of the day, our job and what we want to do is, is get as many opportunities for these young men that want it as we can and then give them opportunities to make a decision they and the, they, themselves and their family about what's best for their future. Let's touch on one of the jobs as a coaching staff is to shift gears. Mm -hmm. From 2019, we obviously love and want to recognize our seniors, but now it's shift gears and yep. start looking at 2020. And there's a lot of holes to fill, right? If you want they to are. play football, <laughs> there's, <laughs> to there, there's high, an yeah. open spot, right? Yep. we got a lot of playing time. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're faced available. with a very similar situation yeah. that we've had in the past. We lose nine starters on offense, lose seven starters on, on defense. And, you know, you hear those numbers and you go, but wait a minute, wasn't it last year you lost 16? Uh, wasn't it last year the year before that you lost 17? And the answer is yes. And, and I, I would the reason I think those numbers are that way is for a couple of things. And I think number one is this. We do such an outstanding job, our freshman coaches, our JV coaches, yourself included, at making sure these guys are getting playing reps as freshmen, and freshmen sophomores, and juniors to put them in a position to start by their senior year. And just about every single kid that leaves our program with a very small acceptive group winds up starting in some capacity. Now, it may be special teams, could be a kicker, could be a deep snapper, could be whatever, but they wind up starting by the time that they're, they're, by mm -hmm. the time they're seniors. The other side of that is, and I think this is the, the, the other side of it, and that is, is that we're coaching kids that while they are tremendous athletes and would probably start at a local school, 
playing in the regions that we play, playing at the level we're playing, they've just got to continue to develop. They still may be a year away. So their junior year, sophomore year, they may be playing on scout team or special teams, let's say, and it's, they don't start until their senior year. But our defensive coaches, our offensive coaches, they do an outstanding job. We play on average 35 to 37 kids on Friday nights, which means that, yes, we're going to lose this year 16 kids, but the reality is we've got about 20 or 25 guys that have played that now it's their time. Now they become starters. Maybe they weren't starters before. Now they become starters. But we do have some major holes to fill, and, you know, both sides of the line of scrimmage. Absolutely. Certainly at, all, at linebacker, quarterback, running back. The entire uh, offensive line. The entire <laughs> offensive line. That's exactly right. So, but I said, we've got some great opportunities for some young men that want to step up and, and, and like I said, take an opportunity. All right, you've got a minute and ten seconds to Ooh. thank everybody Ooh. that you need to thank. So. Thank you, everybody. How about that? <laughs> that, that, now, does that that's a great enough. way to do it. I, you know, I, I, we always talk about quarterback clubs, certainly. But I want to recognize someone that, that you, you had on tonight, and as Amanda Holt. Uh, Amanda came in mid-year or you know, right after the first couple of we weeks. Uh, we had a situation where we had to change trainers, uh, and that's tough. That's difficult. And she came in and has been outstanding. And, and while certainly we appreciate everything the quarterback club does, the moms and dads, the, the, uh, the, the, the banquet committees, the, the band, JROTC, all those groups, thank you. Uh, such a thankless job that she has. Mm -hmm. And just this week, we get back at 1 o'clock in the morning from Tequila, and she's staying, making sure people are okay. It's trying to figure out who needs to go the next yep. morning for treatment. So thank you to her, Hamilton Sports Medicine, who, who provides that to our local schools, and certainly the doctors and physicians at AOSM uh, who just do an outstanding job treating our players year over year over year. But the last people, these last minutes, we need to tell thank you to our wives Absolutely. and our kids. Our wives and our kids, I don't know if we've ever done that. And yep. probably after 10 years, maybe I've learned my <laughs> lesson. No, but the, they do an outstanding job sitting in the stands, listening to like a lot of the things that are said. But more importantly, and, and to their point, loving on our players. They treat them just like they're their own, and uh, they're waiting for them when they come off the field. And I tell you, that's, that's special. Absolutely. And I'm thankful. You're thankful. We're all thankful for our wives and our kids for the time they give up so that we can do probably the greatest job on the earth. All right. Well, let's wrap it up like we always do. Say we'll be back. Next season, same cat time, same cat channel. Go Big Red.